Hey, how's everyone doing? So lately I've been going vinyl wild and absolutely spending way too much money on vinyl. Um, you, have, you guys have no idea. It's been pretty ridiculous lately. I need to calm myself and probably take a little break from buying vinyl after this. But I just wanted to show you the new ones I got. Uh, there's a record store that I've never been to near my house that I started going to. I went to it a few times and I was actually, I was actually surprised how much good stuff they had. They have uh, pretty much nothing but, you know, originals. They have some like remaster, you know, reissues, but even those are like used technically for the most part. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you guys some of the new ones I got. So here we go. All right, here's the first one, ACDC, Fly on the Wall. This one is from 1985. Not regarded as one of ACDC's best records, but in my opinion, it's one of my favorite ACDC records. Um, this is one of my favorite album covers of theirs. I just love the cartooniness of it. Um, I love the title track, Shaker Foundations is good. Um, Sink the Pink's cool, Playing with Girls. It used to be one of my favorite ACDC songs. You know, I guess it still is. Uh, I used to play that song all the time, like over and over and over again. Um, Hell or High Water is all right. Back in Business is another one that was regarded as one of my favorite ACDC songs for the longest time. And like I said, I guess it still is because I mean, nothing really has changed as far as ACDC goes for me. Um, so that's Fly on the Wall. This is an original, and he had a few of these. So I was really... Uh, Really happy to get this one. Simon Wright on drums. But uh, yeah, so let's fly on the wall. Up next, Ace Fraley, Fraley's Comet, their debut album. Now I got this thinking it was an original, but uh, when I got home, I realized it was technically uh, a reissue remaster from 2017, but it was released in 1987. Um, you know, I actually just finished listening to all Ace Frehley's solo stuff, so I'm really high on him right now. And uh, Rock Soldiers is probably my favorite Ace Frehley song. Breakout's awesome. Really, I think Breakout is really, really awesome. Um, what do we got here? Dolls is weird. Um, Fracture 2 is probably my least favorite Fracture, but you know, very, you know, retro album. I, I really love the album cover. It's, you know, it's really good. It's really Ace Frehley-like with the, you know, comets and space and all that stuff. This is a limited edition, high, high quality colored vinyl. It's sky blue marble vinyl. Technically my first ever sky blue marble vinyl. So anyway, that's Ace Frehley, Frehley's Comet. If I would have known that it was a remaster, I don't know that I would have gotten it, but damn, he wanted fucking $26 for it. But, uh, oh well, I bought it. Up next, good old Savage Amusement by The Scorpions. Now, this is easily one of my favorite Scorpions albums. Man, I love this album. This one is an original. This one uh, was $12. He had, he had two of these. And I wanted to get the one that was obviously better quality, and this one definitely was. Uh, I love the retro aspect of this album. You know, it's almost like Miami Vice. You got the, like the light blue colors and the pink. But uh, this one has Passion Rules the Game on it, which is my all-time favorite Scorpion song. Don't Stop at the Top is another one of my all-time favorite Scorpion songs. I posted uh, one of their live performances that they did of it from the 80s, which is technically on YouTube, but no one's ever like isolated that song and just uploaded it by itself. So that's why I did it. Cause you know, a lot of people probably don't think it's on there when it really is. So that's why I did that. Rhythm of Love's good. Media Overkill, another one I love. Um, Walking on the Edge is cool. Um, yeah, but definitely, this is definitely one of my favorite eras of the band. It's 1989, but yeah, this is an original and Man, I've been wanting this one for such a long time, and this is in such great condition. But man, love this album. Up next, Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 1. Now, if you know me and you know my channel, you probably know that I'm 
diehard Guns N' Roses fan, my favorite band of all time. You know, they're my first ever band that I really got into. And uh, you're probably thinking, how the fuck do you not have, how do you not have this on vinyl yet? Well, <laughs> that's kind of the thing. I mean, I've, I've listened to so much Guns N' Roses over the years and I, you know, I have all their CDs and I've heard all their albums all a million times. You know, I didn't get into vinyl collecting until a few years ago. And honestly, collecting all the GNR stuff wasn't like the first thing on my list. But it's one of those things that's always been in the back of my mind that I've wanted to, you know, slowly get done. You know, I wanted the Chinese democracy vinyl, like really, really bad. But the other day I went to my usual record shop and they didn't have, they didn't have too much interesting there. So I decided, ah, oh, fuck it. They have user illusion one. So I might as well just try to continue to finish my Guns N' Roses vinyl collection. Um, awesome album. You know, I prefer Use Your Illusion 2 over Use Your Illusion 1, but Right Next Door to Hell is such an awesome opening track. Dustin Bones with Izzy on lead vocals is awesome. Live and Let Die, I've heard it a million times, but you know, it's, everyone knows that version, probably more so than the Paul McCartney version. The original Don't Cry, um, my favorite ever performance of Don't Cry was definitely Tokyo 1992. Perfect Crime has to be, it's probably my favorite all time opening uh, concert track that they ever did. They did it a lot in 1991. Oh my God, I would shit my pants if I was in a crowd in 1991 that opened up with Perfect Crime. I, uh, I always kind of wish they opened up the album with Perfect Crime, but You Ain't the First is, you know, a slow acoustic song. I didn't get, it took me a long time to get into that one, but I like that one. Bad Obsession, ugh. I've never been a huge fan of Bad Obsession. It's okay. Back Off Bitch is one that I've never really loved, but just recently, I don't know, I've been, I've been listening to it a decent amount lately. Double Talk and Jive, never been a huge fan of Double Talk and Jive. November Rain, you know, one of their biggest songs of all time. It's definitely a masterpiece, um, but a lot of people will hate me for saying this, but I've never been a huge fan of November Rain. I love the ending. And I love how dramatic it is and everything, but I've never been a huge fan of the piano portion of the song. The Garden's awesome. Uh, Garden of Eden is, you know, crazy, but I like that one. Don't Damn Me is alright. Bad Apples is alright. Love Dead Horse, my favorite all-time music video they ever did. And I think Coma is a masterpiece, and that might be the best song on this album, honestly. So that one is a remaster. It's not an original, and uh, 25 bucks for that one. All right, anyway, moving on. So as I said, I just finished Ace Fraley, all his solo work. So I just had my birthday recently, and this one and the next two are gonna be birthday gifts. And so this is Ace Fraley's Anomaly. This is the deluxe 10th anniversary edition, and this is the yellow vinyl, my first ever yellow vinyl. And I'm gonna be honest, not a huge fan of this album. Um, I like Foxy and Free. Um, man, A Little Below the Angels is one of the worst rock songs I've ever heard in my entire life. I like Fractured, Quantum, that's a good one. Man, it's just not a lot I, I liked on here at all. Um, Sister's cool, I like Sister. I think Outer Space was all right, but man, it was just a lot of a lot of shit, in my opinion. And I hate to say that, because, you know, this was his first album he did in a very long time. I think it was, like, 19 years or something like that. It was, like, his his last solo album was in, like, 1990, and this was released in, like, 2009. But, you know, this is a remaster from 2019, and it uh, comes with a few bonus tracks and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's Anomaly. All right, continuing the trend of Ace Fraley. This is Space Invader from 2014. My first ever picture disc vinyl. So I got a lot of first evers in this. And uh, what do I think about Space Invader? This is easily my favorite Ace Fraley album. I think this album is really, really fucking good. I think he, he probably saw the, you know, the negative reaction a little bit to Anomaly and was like, I need to really step my game up. So he did Space Invader and holy shit, this album's fucking awesome. 
This one in his uh, debut album that he did when he was in Kiss are easily my top two favorite. I think the title track is the best song on the album. Um, I can't remember all, I can't remember everything about every song, but I, I know I love Change. I definitely love Toys. Um, Inside the Vortex is cool. I even like Whatever Girl Wants. Um, Past the Milky Way is awesome. I like Reckless a lot. Um, I think a lot of these tracks are very underrated. So yeah, and Starship's cool too. So yeah, my first ever picture disc vinyl. And I heard that picture disc, I, I honestly, I didn't know anything about picture disc until I got this and I did a little bit of research. But I heard picture disc suck ass. And uh, <laughs> as I said, this is another birthday gift, so I'm, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I'm definitely grateful because this is my favorite Ace Frehley album, especially. Um, but yeah, I heard picture discs are not the best. You know, they wear out easily and like the quality is maybe not as good, but whatever. Ace Frehley, Space Invader, my favorite Ace Frehley album. And last, another Ace Frehley album. This one is Spaceman. This is his newest album that he released in 2018. Um, I know Gene Simmons is on this one. Um, not a huge fan of this one either. It sucks, as much as it sucks to say, but uh, this one is blue vinyl. It's my first ever regular blue vinyl. Uh, I like Without You on Nothing. Rockin' with the Boys is one that I definitely, it took, it took me a long time to get into it, but I just recently started getting into it. And I like that song. Um, Bronx Boy is easily the best song in this album. You could tell he put so much more effort into that one than he did the rest, honestly. And other than that, those were really pretty much the only ones I cared for on this album. I was uh, a little disappointed, but uh, that's Space Man. This one is an original, technically. Um, the Space Invader one is a remaster. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys so far. Um, I actually do have some more, some more vinyl that I did buy, but I want to do a whole separate video for those ones, and you'll see why. And a uh, very special, very... Um, very special video that I want to do for those because it's uh, something that I think is easily the coolest part of my vinyl collection so far. And I think it deserves its own video. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to make that video and dive into that. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.